All right, so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to install this sticky tap onto this duct in which we cut a round hole in. If you don't know how to cut a round hole into a rectangular piece of duct, I would suggest you go back to my video on how to cut a round hole into a rectangular piece of duct. Um, I'll go ahead and post the link to that as well. Um, so we're going to put this right on there. Pretty simple. Uh, the hardest part is over, cutting the hole. So we're just going to go ahead and take this sticky tap, and these come with an adhesion, and you just peel that right off there. Take this, go right over our hole. We want to make our hole potentially a little bit bigger. And what we're going to do is we're just going to set this right on there. Simple enough, right? Go ahead and take uh, self-tapping screws or uh, sheet metal zip screws. That actually stuck, believe it or not. Um, it runs through rather quickly. And just to go be an over, I'm gonna go ahead and run four into this. Typically on six inch, you only have to run three. But we're gonna really make sure that this puppy's tight in there. So, there you have it. Tap stuck right in there. We're gonna go ahead and take our uh, duct sealant. I like using DP 1010. Um, and we're just gonna run right over the top of this just painting like Picasso Right over the top all the way around this flange and it'll be a beautiful thing like a professional did it um, Don't want to leave too much. I usually run my brush right back around Peel off any excess duct sealant stuff gets expensive um, And there you have it our sheet metal takeoff is installed right there on our duct and ready to go ready to accept air and uh, visit my next video on how to install a start collar.